Hey guys, I'm back! Um, yeah, sorry I haven't been doing anything in the last two months. Um, I've kind of been busy. This, over here, this is my apartment. I have an apartment. There are quite a few very interesting locations in this apartment, specifically the Diagador, Mount Olympus, the Way, the Room, the Living Room, the Kitchen, the Killing Room, and the Fourth Reich. I got the place at the beginning of July, and I wasn't able to move my computer over until just a few days ago because there were a lot of complications and I didn't get the internet set up. And I did get the internet set up, but everything went wrong with the internet because of the people who worked for the internet. You know, the employees of the internet. <laughs> but now I'm here, I'm fully moved, my computer is in my room, and I'm sure as you're looking at this, I am editing something. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a bit of a recap of the things you might have missed while I've been away. Um, number one, apartment. Number two, I got another job. I, if you look right here, you'll see that there is um, a video of me complaining about a job that I had a couple months ago. I've since quit that job, and I'm now back at the gelato store that I used to work in. And I really like it there. Everyone is so cool. It has some of the best gelato ever. I've been to Italy. I've tried their gelato. This is where Italy is. I don't know. It's off, off camera. Italy's over there. And I've tried the gelato over there. And it's really good. The stuff at the place I work at is at least as good as genuine Italian gelato. Which is awesome. Because I get to eat some. Which is good. Number three, and probably the biggest one of this whole thing, at the beginning of August, I took a trip to Colorado. My friend Mark links to his channel in the description box. He has a friend who works with Amtrak, and so through that for Snowflake Day, um, he gave me some tickets for a trip to Colorado. Which is awesome because I have a friend in Colorado. Some of you might have heard of her. Her name is Josie. Her channel is in the description box. She's a shuffler, goes by I Love Gray Scale on YouTube, and you can see some of her videos here and here. And so here's a bit of a recap of what happened on that trip. I took a bus from my home in Toronto and went from there to Niagara, where I grew up. Um, I stayed with my mom for a couple of days, doing some laundry, preparing for the trip, things like that. Um, and then she, my stepdad, drove me to New York State, specifically Buffalo. Um, to get on a train, and so I was like, ooh, trains! I haven't been on a train! And so I got on the train, um, and then the train went! It just went! All the way to Chicago! There's a bit of a, you know, layover in Chicago for this trip of about, of a couple of hours, but not really enough time to take a look at some of the stuff there. I, here's a couple of the things that I saw when I was in Colorado. Here's a thing of my feet, here's a Thing of a car, and here's a nice little sign that I saw for an observatory that simply says, Welcome to the universe, and I thought that was just really nice of them. Most of my time when I was in Colorado was spent in a Starbucks updating Tumblr. The majority of the first half of my trip from Buffalo to Chicago was really uncomfortable, specifically because I was really uncomfortable with the fact of having my suitcase somewhere I couldn't see it. So, I decided to put my suitcase where I normally put it when I'm not comfortable letting it on my site at my feet. Although the suitcase was much bigger than I was used to because it was a new suitcase borrowed from my grandfather. So basically what I ended up doing was crushing my legs. When you're enclosed in a train for hours on end with the inability to sit up because you have a window seat and there's a large woman there who doesn't want to move, you're kind of going Aah! So eventually I managed to wedge my suitcase underneath the chair that was in front of me and therefore had, you know, more room in my legs, but then when I wanted to access things in my suitcase, of course I couldn't do it because it was wedged inside the chair, and I got really pissed off because that was where my food was, and I was just, got a little hungry. Dan, my roommate, also lent me his e-reader so I could read some books while I was on the train, which is really awesome. I reread Ender's Game, which is a fantastic book if you hadn't read it. It's by Orson Scott Card. It's really good. The Enemy's Gate is down. Another book that I had Dan put on the e-reader for me is another copy of Battle Royale because I haven't read that book in a really long time and I've been dying to reread it. But by the time I actually went to go and try it out, I little did I know that the one he downloaded was in Spanish. And I don't know Spanish, so I couldn't read it. Oh well, I still had good time reading Ender's Game, so it all worked out. A little bit of a side note, I'm not used to train rides, and so when I was leaning against the window, kind of falling asleep, I'd have this really bizarre experience over and over again where I would be just lying there, head against the window, looking out the window, just mm, 
And then another train hitting the opposite way would just go You're like, fuck! I was just so freaked out. And I had no, like, and, and every time I twitched, and any time it happened, I would just go, ah! And then the person next to me would be like, mmm. I was like, mm. <laughs> So what I ended up doing was I arrived in Chicago, and everything was fine, I hung around in the Starbucks, had a smoothie, and I'm sorry, but for some reason the person that was working in Chicago had an accent that I had no idea what she was saying. And I feel really bad, because it was English, at least I think, but it, I had no idea what she was saying. So when I got back on the train to go from Chicago to Denver, I tried to fall asleep repeatedly and failed, because I have this really bad habit of not resting when I sleep, and so because the times were weird, and just traveling is odd, I was going between time zones, so it's kind of like train lagged. I only slept for about 20 minutes at a time every hour and a half, and it was just such a bizarre experience. By the time I got off the train, I was going, yes, it is 7 a.m. Good. I've been sleeping pretty much the whole time. I am exhausted. But I got off the train, I was in Denver, I was in Colorado, I looked out and I saw buildings from Colorado, I was like, your Colorado buildings! I've totally traveled before. And so I was there, just going, oh my god, I'm here in Colorado, this is insane. There was a hose on the sidewalk when you got off the train, I don't know why, it was just a hose there. And the woman who was working with the trains and stuff, she just, you know, would say, look out for that hose, that's a big old hose! I just thought to myself, I'm in a totally different country. Nobody says, look out for that big old hose in Canada. It's not a common expression. Well. So then I got off the train, and I watched out for the hose, and I stood around the train station for a little while, and then um, Josie and her boyfriend just drove right up, and it was like, oh my god, I'm meeting this person, and... Ugh. Josie and I have been friends for a while now, I think about a year and a half. Um, because we met over a shuffle website and just kind of like wah wah wah, so we're re so we're both incredibly excited to be dancing together and doing a lot of stuff, and it's really cool. So we drive up, we go to Boulder, Colorado, which is a nice place. Um, if you're ever in the area or if you live there, I don't know what this is. It's the internet. Boulder's pretty cool. I like it there. We went to a cafe, saw some cool stuff, and then we went to Josie's house. She works with horses. There were horses everywhere. It was pretty cool, and she also has some nice dogs. And in that same day of arriving in Denver, driving to Boulder, going to Josie's house, we decided to go up to this really nice place called Ward. Ward is a really interesting place. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like this. When I was in Ward, I was told that the population of Ward is very low because it's one of those home-run municipalities. You know, the place is really kind of separate from the rest of society in a really cool way. The houses are all slanted. It's really nice. This is just some of the footage that I took when I was up there, and apparently I should not have done that, but whatever! <laughs> so again, in this whole time of doing things with people I only just met for the first time in person, most people I hadn't even heard of, and some people I heard of, and then I was only meeting for the first time after never talking to them, they're kind of going, Oh, you're the guy! I'm like, yeah, I'm the guy, you're the person! They're like, Aah! We all eventually went back to Josie's house, and that was what the first day was. Over the course of the next several days, Josie and I did so many things, it was so much fun. We went all over the place, we went to shuffle meetups, we met so many interesting people, and I took a bunch of footage that I'm probably editing together right now, and it was just so much fun. Among the many things that I did in Colorado, I also went to see Justice play in concert. It was really, really good. I'm playing it down for those people who might be jealous. I took a little bit of footage on the camera, you can take a look at that right now. There it was. I decided not to record anything, with the exception of that, just so that I can fully enjoy the concert experience, and it was amazing. The place where we saw Justice is this really famous outdoor venue called Red Rocks. It's up in the mountains and it looks absolutely incredible. The Beatles played there once and it was so much fun, I had a great day. Over the course of this whole Colorado trip, there was a, so much on my mind, just absorbing all the things I could, and everything was just so great, and I'm probably even gonna write some stuff about it, and it was just so ah, and it was so much fun to hang out with with Josie in person because we have been friends for a while, we have been talking like all the time, and now I'm like, with her in person, I was like, oh my god, this is the person! <laughs> so when the final day of my Colorado trip came to pass, I ended up, you know, getting dropped off at the train station before Josie and her friend Jenny went to 
a Thievery Corporation concert, which I wanted to go to because I love Thievery Corporation. But whatever, you know what? I had an amazing time anyway. It doesn't really matter that much. I just think it would have been cool. So once again, I get on a train, I stop in Chicago, and I film this in Chicago, which you'll see more of later. And I just kind of went home. I arrived back in Buffalo, and then I went home, and that was basically a very brief summary of what happened on that trip. Well, since getting back from Colorado and settling in even more into my apartment, I think I've had a pretty decent summer. Um, pretty freaking decent summer. And so basically, now that I'm here, and now that I have my own place, and now that I'm working, and now that I'm doing things, and now I know people, and now I have this and that and the other, I feel like I'm gonna be making a lot more videos because I have a lot of things planned to make. This is not a count, this is just words. So in light of all this stuff, you know, me having my own place, and I'm living with my best friend slash wife, and that I've been, like, across the country and into a different country, and I've done all sorts of amazing things, I'm getting so many great ideas for videos that I look forward to showing you guys very soon. Before any of you ask, I'm going to work on the footwork tutorial as soon as I can. I'm just so excited, you guys, about everything. Like, I'm just really hyped right now, I'm in a really good mood, and I, probably because I'm using you again, you camera, you, I look, and so I'm just gonna show you a couple of the really cool things that are around the apartment that I just think are really awesome. All right, here we go. Time for a very tiny tour of stuff in the apartment. Instruments, instruments, instruments. This is a table I made back in high school. It's of my initials, STL. It's pretty awesome. Instruments. This is a very cheap dartboard. This is the whiteboard that Dan and I use to do things like write down groceries, our work schedules, an inspirational quote and some really dumb stuff, here's the title, and some TV marathons and games to play. Here we have a Bristol board of some other really cool stuff. Mmm, books, 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 DVDs, comics. Got some Lego Star Wars pod racers and a little itty bitty Tatooine there for you. On top of a bunch of game guides, Nintendo powers, really old Nintendo powers. Sonic Screwdriver, Darth Maul. Here's a nice set of rabbit ears that I pulled off the street. Really glad about having that. Got a Cyberman from Doctor Who. Here's a Dalek from Doctor Who. Here's a turtle magnifying glass paperweight. N64. GameCube. Wii. PlayStation. <laughs> Two fans, Boba Fett and Greedo. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Una shoota solo. These tell us when fruits and vegetables are in season for the glorious days where we go grocery shopping. Over here's the shoe rack. I like to call it the South Shoe Dam. Here's a bit of my room, oh my god, there's totally nothing on the walls, but if you look on the floor, you see it's a bit of a mess. There's my bed, it turns into a couch when I'm not sleeping, and here's my desk with my computer, and there we go. Da, 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 da. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this little itty bitty update. I hope I didn't make it too long again. I'd really hate to have another like eight minute vlog. All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>